up guys, Kerbal Space Program, here we go, third time lucky maybe, uh, so far I've had audio issues, graphical glitches, going from full screen to window, Ah, the Kerbal Space Program, here we go, um, I've played this before so uh, it shouldn't be too much of me crashing and burning, I've made the sacrifices to the Kerbal Nation already, um, but it's a new, new version number, uh, 0.20 blah 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 um, lots of new stuff's been added since I last played it so uh, no doubt that I'm still gonna have issues and still kill many many Kerbals in the name of science for science but yes uh, starting a new game uh, my new game for this one is Grand Tour because I intend to, hopefully, if I can get the Keythane mod installed, this is, do a complete tour of all the planets. Now, uh, the last couple of times I've loaded, I've had a look at flags already, and I decide that I like this one. Um, as I said in the bit that got recorded and then got lost because the thing crashed and there's no point showing you bits of things, I haven't seen flags before, but now I have, so I'm just going to accept that one and start in with the sandbox mode. Um, right, straight to rocket building. Um, I, I know we're all rocket engineers here, I mean pff, it's just rocket science right? Um, uh, so we'll get on with it. Command pod to start with, it's tried and tested method, it's my first flight and as always first flight of an, any new system I'm just gonna go for an orbit and try and put down next to the, the next to the space station again. I'll be honest I've never got within like hundreds of kilometers of a landing so um, that, that, that should be fun to laugh at me. Um, so, yeah, command pod, same as always. Now, what are we doing? Where are we going? We're going up in orbit, so we'll, we'll want this to keep our Kerbals um, fairly safe. Uh, it's the SAS unit, uh, I forget exactly what it is, anti-sickness device or something like that. It basically, it's got a little gyroscope in there, it stops your, your spaceship flipping out and being a little bit of a spaz. Um, Am I allowed to say spaz nowadays? Is, is this, is this a, an acceptable term? Oh, well, who cares? Um, right. Uh, oh, I seem to have stalled a little bit. Should we move on and put some power on it? Um, oh, these are always my favourite, I think. Ah, oh, and I don't have snap to grid or any symmetry aligned. Now, I know the symmetry button is, uh, is X, right? Anyone know what the snap to grid button is? I, I've not been able to... Oh, C. That's the one right next to it on the keyboard, that would make sense. There we go, I learned something new today, I hope you have too. Um, <laughs> right, I'm going to stick a parachute on top because that's how I intend to land. Um, yeah, like building uh, rockets is kind of like you do it in the reverse order. You're like, right, well, what's the last thing I'm going to do? So you build that bit on top and then you go, well, what's the next bit I'm going to do? Well, the next bit after this is maneuvering in space. So let's put um, a little bit of a fuel tank on. Uh, that's that's just jet fuel. Where, where's the little fuel? That's a little fuel tank. There we go. Hey, isn't that nice? Uh, that's a bit too, bit too big. That one? Let's go with that one instead. I, like this is literally going to be for my deorbit burn. So um, let's put that there and put. Ah, uh, do I want a poodle? Oh no, poodles are massive. Uh, what? What? Well, wow. Um, oh, oh, all the engines have changed. That's the one I wanted. There we go. <laughs> right, that is about as minimalist as you can get. Right. I mean, as I say, all it's doing is coming back to Kerbal. Right, next we want to put our main booster in. Now, I'm a uh, bit of an overkill monster when it comes to, to boosting, shall we say? Look, I, I was going to just go and throw something straight on there, but that's not what we want. We want a decoupler, don't we? There we, there we go, see? Could, could have had horrendous horrors already. Uh, but I, I'm on top of it. I know what I'm doing here, right? Yeah, you believe me? Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> right, now, I want to put one of these bad boys on next. Um, so to do that, we need a... Uh, 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 what's the thing that makes things go bigger? This, an adapter. That's the one. Yeah, the thing that makes things go bigger. Um, right. So now I've put that there, and I've put that on there. Now, for control's sake, we want to put another one of those because uh, I'm not going to put any RSS on it because I'm just, I'm just I'm going in a circle around the planet I'm not docking I'm not I'm not doing anything overly difficult you know rocket science 
Um, but yeah, so I, d I don't I don't need to do any of that stuff, and I reckon a mainsail will get me up in the air. But um, that, that doesn't look like a mainsail. It's a skipper. What the Oh, it's two. Um, I like the mainsail because it's big and beefy, and I like big and beefy things. Uh, right, and just to make sure, just to make sure, I'm going to put some solid boosters to get me up to like the gravity turn point. If you don't know what a gravity turn is, just watch. I'll get to it as I'm flying. Uh, these ones, these are good. Let's put this there, and as many as I can fit round because <laughs> rockets, right? Um, <laughs> And we put them on there like that. And isn't that a beautiful masterpiece of let's zoom out. Right, isn't that a beautiful masterpiece of rocket engineering? Ish. <laughs> right. Um, now I want these firing all at the same time. I've seen lots of people starting and they're like, oh you do this bit first and then that. No, all thrust at all times, else it's just a waste of mass. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna call this uh, oh, uh, 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 yeah, be, be, be um, really creative, orbiter number one, there we go, right, we, we, we save it, no, that's the new, save it, um, we're also going to do this because I'm fed up of crashing and burning, no, okay, they don't want to all fit, let's just do, oh, there we go, ta-da, good, right, um, <laughs> launch, Tick, 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 tick. Oh, loading takes so long. Okay, uh, first thing I've noticed, I've got my staging in the wrong order, so let's change that for that. Sweet. Let's throttle up to somewhere about there. Let's uh, look about. Press T to stabilize my takeoff, and uh, three, two, one, go, go. Oh, there we go. And whoosh, off we go. Oh, it's very bright here. Uh, there's the beauty of the space uh, station. Isn't it nice? Watching my fuel levels. It seems very bright and glary to me. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe they've changed something. Maybe it's a hot summer in, on Kerb, Kerbin. I keep wanting to call the planet Kerbal. It's not Kerbal, it's Kerbin. Alright, this is boring. Let's speed up time a bit. Okay. Uh, but when you speed up time when you're on the planet it's still physics not just speeding stuff up so weird effects like this happen right slow that back down and go drop those throttle up yeah transition tt to reset my sas yeah how high am i oh i'm so high at the moment right let's go down towards the 90 degrees because like the planet spins and you're trying to get full the, the the main mistake most people make when they go for orbits is they try and go high and you don't want to go high you want to go fast because it's all about cannonballs missing the horizon if you don't know what i'm on about go check out newton's work he's like some sort of famous guy who did loads of science stuff um yeah right gravity turning uh already halfway up to orbital velocity oh i have a good feeling about this my overheating isn't happening I was saying something about going fast forwards. I can't remember what the hell I was going on about. Let's just go fast forwards and try and miss that horizon, yeah? Uh, more of a gravity turn, more of a gravity turn. Get round that fucking corner. Uh, about to run out of fuel, so I'm going to throttle down. And before I completely run out of fuel, change to my map view and go, ooh, pretty. Uh, in fact, I'm even going to cut my engines at this point and place a maneuver node at my highest point because I want to circularize my orbit. Now, I have a small feeling that given the amount of fuel I've burnt, I'm not going to make it. Um, but, you know, this is just a quick and quick, quick uh, teeth cutting exercise, getting, getting my eye back in on the game. Um, I've got no RSS, so I'm repositioning myself fairly early at this point. Aim for the blue cross. Blue cross is where you put your maneuver node. Well, is where your maneuver node is telling you to go to. Ta da! Right. Um, yeah, cool. Let's speed up some time a little bit. Tick, 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 tick. Oh, wow, I've got five minutes to waste. Uh, let's speed up time a little bit more so I'm not wasting time and being boring whilst you're spending time watching me be boring. Yeah. Um, three minutes. Let's go a little bit faster. Two minutes. Oh, you're going to watch me, like, jump up the time acceleration up and down a lot because I'm impatient, but at the same time, I don't want to miss my burns. Um, of course, I'm not talking about the Simpsons character. 
I do miss Pins the Burns. Not watched Simpsons for a long time. Maybe I'll tell. Right, um, oh, where's my resource mark? Okay, let's, let's just burn hard. Oh, burning hard. Oh, I did it! I'm in orbit! Look at that! Yay! Alright, kill this maneuver node. Um, and yeah, well there we go, orbit guys. I knew I could do it. Hey, um, so yeah, as I say, I intend to uh, put the um, lots of ums in that uh, 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 keythane mod, so that I can start going out to all the different planets. Because uh, let me, let me, let me. Oh no, not that one. This one. Zoom all the way out. Mouse, mouse clicking. Click, 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 click. Right. So there's a lot of planets. And uh, each planet has a lot of moons. Like even even Kerbin has two. Um, and I intend to go to each one and pick up Keysane if the Keysane mod is available for this point too. If not, I'll come up with another plan by the time we speak next. Uh, yeah, and then um, go around and visit each planet. Uh, from what I hear, like you'd think that Elo, that this tiny one out here is the hardest to get to. But it's not, it's this one right in the middle, Moho, um, because you've got to slow down as you're falling towards the sun. And of course, as we all know in, in space, it doesn't matter whether you're going fast or, or going slow, it's the change in velocity, delta V, that is the important number. So, yeah, there we go. Um, science. <laughs> um, okay, uh, I didn't want the orbital, I did want the orbital map, I wanted to zoom in so I could think, go look at the thing, go right around about there I want to start slowing down. Was that, is that it? Yeah there's the island that means that's the space center and by the time the planet has revolved round because the planet spins should we, should we just boost around a bit? Look see you can, you can, wa you can watch it happening! Um, in fact I'm gonna slow down time I'm gonna find... oh this is why I should put RSS on oh oh, oh wait T <laughs> you have no idea how often I'm like, my controls aren't working! And I have to press T. Um, <coughs> right, there, there it is, there's the blue cross. Uh, or, what, oh, is it, it's not really a cross, is it? The blue marker? I don't know, I'm probably going to end up calling it a cross, because you know, that's what I just called it when I was off the top of my head. So, uh, yeah, I'm not one for changing my language patterns. Uh, like I tried, I do try. Um, so as I was zooming past it, press T, that stabilizes my position. We'll, we'll go in there and we'll go like, oh, 27 minutes. Should we zoom out and, uh, ooh, Terminator. Not the killing machine, the, 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 the sunset line. That's what Terminator is. Yes, there we go. Mm -hmm. Spin around. Uh, uh, I've got to leave a bit of debris in orbit, aren't I? I mean, look at it. That that whole thing. Oh, oh wow! A little bit of lag there. So this is quite a beefy game, and whilst my machine is better than the one that I used to have, I by no means have a beefy machine. Not compared to the games that are coming out nowadays. Oh, still got seven minutes to kill. The amount of times I crash into this little mountain range here, thinking this was where I was going for. No, no, don't be fooled, people. Look for the islands. Alright, so we've got four minutes. Um, let's check our orbital map. Because uh, uh, you're going to slow down faster in the atmosphere. So we want to kind of overshoot a little bit. We'll, we'll try for that. That, that. that looks good. Looks good to me. Does it look good to you guys? I'm sure you're all screaming at the screen at this point because, you know, that's, that's what people do. Um, three minutes. 10 times acceleration is still quite slow, isn't it? The other good thing about taking off exactly on the east-west line is that I didn't have to do any manoeuvres when trying to sort out which direction I want to point to get back home. I just did once around the planet and BOOM! On the right line. Um, I, obviously if I'd gone north-south the planet would have rotated underneath me and then it wouldn't have been there and I've got to slow down and start doing some boost. Right. Um, let's watch my orbital. There goes that. Ah, right, back to staging. Drop that. Tiny little... Oh, I didn't extend my uh, solar panels. All right, let's do that for this. <laughs> Make absolutely no difference. Um, obviously, because I've got a manned pod, it really doesn't matter whether I've got solar panels on or not, because for some reason a manned pod... 
Oh, we're, we're, we're missing the thing. Um, oh, hello. Tell you what, let's put those on two separate things. There we go. And then we do the next bit of staging, and now we can slow down again. Poodle rockets away? Oh, wait, it's not Poodle, is it? Because the Poodle's the big one. I, 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 I didn't even get the name of the little one here. Um, wow, that's a lot of... Uh, a lot of shedding I've got to do. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah, yes! Ah, press caps lock, let's turn that sensitivity down. Whoa, that, that was a bit intense. Uh, Delta V is close enough. Right. Oh, it looks good, doesn't it? It, it is looking good. Um, oh, I've got to feel it. Right, let's kill that, that maneuver node. There we go. Right. Got a feeling I'm probably going to want to speed up by the time I come to actually trying to land this thing. So let's point this around. Oh, it spins so quick. It's, it's because it's such a small pod. Ah, oh, I could have gone straight to the moon. Next time, if I haven't got the keythane mod sorted, we're probably going to do a flyby of the moon. Um, let's speed up time. Watch the land spin underneath me. We should hopefully get some re-entry effects. Um, See, I was a little bit over, over ambitious. Like, I probably could have done without the solid boosters to get up and do this orbit. Um, but you know, I, li I like to make sure. I like to have backup plans. And here we go. Right, we're coming down. Oh, you, you you can feel it when you 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 know, like at the top of the arc, you're going almost flat, and then you start coming down. You, you, oh, it, it's just really good at stuff. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, here we go. Coming in for final positioning. I reckon that I need to point my rocket that way a little bit. Um, to be honest, if I land in the water, I'm going to be happy. Was that where I was supposed to be going for? Is that where I was? That bit maybe. That bit. Yeah, that bit. That's um. Can I make this point further out towards it, please? Oh, come on, please. Please. Oh, we're burning up. Oh, it's got hot. Is that my debris? Any second now, the, the thing's probably going to explode. Look at that. Wow. Um, hey, right. Uh, Burning, burning, but oh, uh, let, let's check my orbital map. Stop burning, yes. Uh, watch it come in hard. Ooh, oh, coming in hard. Uh, see that? Like, I, I generally quite flick between the two a lot, trying to make sure that I land in the right place. Um, to be honest, this this looks one of the, be the best setup landings that I've done. Um, yeah, looks like I'm going to be uh, coasting in nice. Yeah, I'll have it. Mm mm mm. Still 14 kilometers up. There goes my uh, my last solar panel. Uh, do a little bit more burning. Oh ah, something something like that. Burning in atmosphere, always good, right? I'm slowing down if I do that. Let's go that way. If we can just get it to overshoot with the last bit of my fuel. Yeah, beautiful. Tiny, tiny amount of fuel left just to... Uh, oh, am I, am I going up? No, I'm going down, good. <laughs> I push myself into the next parabolics. Um, right, well here it goes coming in. Nice little handy pointer there. Um, it's not going to let me set its target, is it? No, because I'm in an atmosphere. Um, oh, we're still falling short. Quick, let's point in the direction I want to go. That way! Oh, there it goes, right. Release the parachutes! 
Oh, 13 kilometers off, 12. It's going to be less by the time I get to the floor. That's that's it's not a bad landing. A little bit, little bit of tweaking. I reckon I could have had that. I mean, I'm on this. I'm on the right continent. I could build myself a rover to come out and collect this. I think. Um, yeah. In fact, if this video turns out to be ridiculously short, I might even build a little bit of a uh, uh, a rover to come out and get Jeb. Oh, it's, only, it's 10 kilometers, right? Ah, oh, boring. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I should have clicked the don't show this again. Um, don't don't use physics warp when your parachute's just about to open at whatever height it opens, 500 meters off the ground or whatever, because um, it will literally just snap your your rocket in half. Like whatever it's attached to will just pop off, um, which you know is fun. But uh, slow down, slow down. Eight meters per second, coming in a bit hard. Oh, oh. Oh wow, well, they've definitely uh, improved graphics or something in this update because my machine never lagged that hard when it was. Uh... Oh, I have, I had my thing on the whole time. Uh, I bet that didn't help. Uh, SAS. Right, well there we go. It's a, a successful landing with uh, Jeb. I mean, of course it's going to be a successful landing. It was Jeb. Um, Ten point eight kilometers. Let's call it eleven kilometers away from where I took off. That's not bad. Right. So that was in fact 20 odd minutes of me just like talking on and on. So uh, I've been Twitchy, he's been Jebediah Kerbal, ultimate bad boy. We'll see you next time when uh, we definitely have a rescue mission planned for him and we'll possibly be checking out the moon. Definitely be checking out the moon. I mean, what's the point of playing Kerbal Space Program if you're not going to try and land on the moon? All right, guys. See you later. Bye bye.